Okay, so for this exercise, you already had your prepositional phrases underlined for you from the workbook page. This is from the workbook page 65. Okay, so we have our prepositional phrases. We still like to mark them because we're used to doing it this way, okay? Now let's find subject verb. Camped is the verb. Who camped? Hikers camped. We don't have a lot of other words outside of the phrases, so we'll leave it at that. So on the first night, what happened on the first night? They camped. It is modifying a verb, so this is an adverbial phrase. Near the Salinas River. Hikers near the river or they camped near the river? They camped near the river. Therefore, this is also an adverbial phrase. All right, nicely done. Let's do the next one. Most of his artwork was created by ninth grade students. Again, let's mark them with our parentheses. Find the verb, was created. Who or what was created? Most was created. Again, not many other uh, words to choose from here. Of his artwork, what does that modify? It modifies most, most of his artwork. It's modifying a pronoun, so it is an adjective phrase, modifying a noun or a pronoun was created by ninth grade students. Well, makes sense. It was created by ninth grade students. This, therefore, is an adverbial phrase modifying the verb. Excellent. Sentence three, everyone I have met at my new school has been extremely kind to me. Marking our prepositional phrases. Let's look for the verb. Okay, so this sentence gets a little technical because you have a clause hidden in here. I have met at my new school. That's a snuck in clause, subordinate clause. So the rest of the, the full sentence is everyone has been extremely kind to me. So has been kind is the verb, or is the total verb. Who, who has been kind? Everyone has been kind, okay? Now, in the subordinate clause, you also have, I have met subject verb. <coughs> Let's look at at my new school. What is that modifying? Have met at my new school, not I at my new school. So it's modifying the verb, so it's an adverbial phrase. To me, that modifies, has been kind to me. Again, adverbial because it's modifying the verb. All right, moving along. Throughout the summer, I worked as a landscape gardener. Marking our phrases. Okay, we don't have a lot to work with afterwards. I worked, subject, verb. Now, as a landscape gardener, I'm working as a landscape gardener, so it's modifying the verb, adverbial. Throughout the summer, I throughout the summer or worked throughout the summer? It's worked, so again, this is also adverbial. Great. Um, what color should we pick now? Um, all right, we'll do baby blue. For dinner, we will serve baked chicken with red beans and rice. All right, marking up our phrases. We will serve what? chicken. Okay, so we have subject verb. This time we finally have a direct object. With red beans and rice. What is with red beans and rice? What is it telling us more about? It's telling us more about the chicken. So chicken is a noun. This would be an adjective phrase. For dinner. We for dinner. Will serve for dinner. Yes. So will serve for dinner. It is an adverbial phrase. Excellent. Okay, looking at the second half of the page, 6 through 11 at least, we don't have any clues. Starting with the first sentence, near the entrance to the cave, we discovered an old map. Okay, so we marked our prepositional phrases. Discovered is the verb. Who discovered we? We discovered what? Map. All right? Near the entrance. What happened near the entrance? We discovered near the entrance. Modifying the verb, adverbial phrase. 
to the cave. It's the entrance to the cave, so it modifies entrance, which is a noun. So this is adjectival. Terrific. All right, number seven. The movie's ending took everyone in the theater by surprise. In the theater and by surprise are your prep phrases. Ending is the subject, took, who, everyone, direct object. In the theater. Took in the theater, everyone in the theater. It's everyone in the theater. This is a pronoun. This is an adjective phrase. By surprise. Theater by surprise, everyone by surprise, took by surprise. It modifies took, making it modifying a verb, an adverbial phrase. Great. What are some of the differences between the African elephant and the Asian elephant? All right, of the differences, and then between the two kinds of elephants are both the phrases. Are is your linking verb. Who or what are? Some are. Some are what? Predicate nominative. Of the differences modifies which word? Are of the differences, some of the differences. Some is what it modifies. Some is a pronoun, making this an adjective phrase. Between the African elephant and the Asian elephant modifies differences. It's the differences between the two. Differences is a noun. This is also an adjective phrase. Great. According to this recipe, the casserole should be baked for 30 minutes. According to is a compound preposition, if you remember. For 30 minutes, also phrase. Should be baked, okay, this all is your verb. What should be baked? The casserole. According to this recipe, casserole, or should be baked according to the recipe? It should be baked, it's a verb, therefore adverbial phrase. For 30 minutes should be baked for 30 minutes. Also, adverbial phrase. Terrific. Okay, all of these lovely quilts were made by hand. Of these lovely quilts by hand, both prep phrases. The verb is were made, who or what, all were made. Okay. Of these lovely quilts, it modifies all, pronoun, adjective phrase, by hand, were made by hand, modifies the verb adverbial. Sorry about the yellow, that didn't work out too well, did it? Um, let's try orange. All right, the development of the internet has changed our lives in many ways. Of the internet in many ways, okay? Has changed is the verb. What has changed? The development has changed. Has changed what? lives. Great. Of the internet modifies the development, which is a noun, so it's an adjective phrase. In many ways. Lives in many ways has changed in many ways. Adverbial phrase. Okay, the last few sentences here. Through the telescope we could see clearly the rings around Saturn. Through the telescope and around Saturn are the phrases. We could see what? The rings, the direct, direct object here. Through the telescope. We, through the telescope, could see through the telescope. It modifies could see, the verb, so it is an adverbial phrase. Around Saturn. Could see around Saturn, rings around Saturn. Okay? It's the rings around Saturn which we are looking at. So it's an adjectival phrase. Next one. In the living room. Sam chased the kitten around the couch. Chased is your verb. Sam chased. Sam chased who or what? The kitten. Around the couch modifies the chased. Okay, they chased around the couch. It's adverbial. And they also chased in the living room. So they are both modifying the verb of this sentence. All right. After the sunset... There is still enough light for photography, all right? Looking at questions, the sentence gets a little tricky, so let's turn it around a bit. There is still enough light is kind of what we're working with here. Um, so the verb is, uh, is, who or what is, light is. Light is what? This is a linking verb, enough. 
predicate adjective. For photography, okay, um, that modifies, um, I'm sorry, uh, photography modifies light. Light for photography. Light is a noun. This is an adjective phrase. After sunset, there is, so this is modifying your verb, so this is your adverbial phrase. Okay, super, let's do, mm, let's do light blue, I guess. Austin, Texas has been the capital both of a state and a country. Of a state and of a country. They're two separate prepositional phrases. Has been is the verb. Austin, Texas is the subject. Austin, Texas has been what? Capital. Direct object. Of a state. It's capital of a state and capital of a country. Both modifying the same thing. They are both adjectival phrases. Great. Okay, so this was the entire page of your workbook, page 65, all done out for you. Thanks. Bye.